Stephen is going to come and take up an offering for us. But before he do, this lady is a giver. She gives as God leads her. And I want to tell you, we don't give to get something. But when you're a giver, this happened. Please come and tell us about what happened to you. I got a text through my WhatsApp on, um, I think it was Thursday afternoon, and it was saying it was from my daughter, and she said, oh, she had to give us an uh, alternative phone number because uh, she dropped her toilet, her phone into the toilet, and she had, was getting it repaired. And, uh, she said her card had been declined and uh, could she please borrow some money and she'd sort things out with me later. Now, I don't normally get her out of trouble. <laughs> um, and normally I would just transfer some money into her account and then she'd pay me back at a later time. But I was half asleep and I can't make that an excuse. I don't really honestly know why I went through with it. But I actually gave them the details on my credit card. And the person on the other end said, I presumed it was my daughter, said that um, it had been declined. So they said, uh, contact ASB and give them this number, etc., etc., which I did. And I actually did that twice because it was declined. And the second time, I got a lady who asked me some very pertinent questions. She actually said, um, how much is it for? I had no idea. I lied. And then she said to me, do you know these people? And she gave two names. And I said, no, I've never heard of them. She said, you've been scammed. So she said, I'm going to decline, I'm going to cancel your credit card right now. I still thought it was my daughter. They had all her details. And I had no reason to believe it wasn't her. And it wasn't, that was about half past two in the afternoon, it wasn't until that night when we, our family, all send each other texts at about eight o'clock at night, it's sort of a tradition, around about that time. And I never heard from her, so I actually sent a, um, a message to this number and said, you know, he's still mad at me, um, you've got yourself sorted out yet, and I got no reply. So, a little bit later, I thought, well, I still haven't heard from Helen. So I sent her a message on her normal phone number, and she said, Mum, what are you talking about? And she rang me and found out that it was all a scam. So I just, I just felt honestly that God had protected me because it could so easily have gone the other way. They could have got into my credit card details and... Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, but God knows and he knows who we are and he protects us. It's not the first time I've been scammed. A couple of years ago I got an IRD one and I nearly did the same similar thing. So <laughs> yeah, I, it takes me a long time to learn. I'm not quite sure what the reason is, but maybe. <laughs> but I honestly feel God God has protected, protected me. And Amen. Just a warning to you that these people are, are able to do all sorts of things. I mean, my daughter was extremely angry. She said, oh, I can't understand how well they would even find out all those details. They had her address, her phone number, her contact numbers. They had everything about her. So beware.